Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin and today I wanna to talk about my Ford Maverick. I have now officially had it just over 30,000 miles and I really have no complaints, but I wanna do go over a few things. As far as I can tell on YouTube and on the forums on Facebook, this Ford Maverick right here might have spent the most time off-road than any other Ford Maverick. For as low as this Ford Maverick sits, I have not got hung up on anything to the point where I was stuck. I have had to rock it back and forth between drive and reverse a few times to get it off uh, a hung up route or some uh, deep ruts that I've fallen into. The only damage to the front of this truck that I have from off-roading is right there. Just a little hole in the bumper. I was thinking maybe I can just cut the whole front of this thing off, get a little more ground clearance, but it is incorporated into the factory skid plate that is underneath the front of the truck. I do have in my garage a two and a half inch lift for this truck. I just have not put it on yet. I really want the uh, fuel mileage and uh, I've kind of just been putting it off. Even after 30,000 miles being off-road and with all the weight in the bed of the truck, I'm still averaging 26 and a half with traffic around town. And on the interstate, I am averaging 29 to 31, depending on what uh, speed I have the cruise control set on. I really enjoy the intelligent all-wheel drive that this truck has. It makes going between asphalt, sand, gravel, mud, loose dirt very easy and you really don't have to touch anything. It senses the terrain and it kind of just kicks in the all-wheel drive whenever it needs it. And so far I haven't had any issues other than um, out here in Florida we have some really sandy trails and I do bottom out in sand and I drag the whole underbelly of the truck. Um, through some deep ruts and it has pulled the exhaust out of the hanger and the exhaust hung down and was vibrating on some of the body. Um, ended up uh, discovering that uh, when the truck was up on a lift, put it back in the hanger, easy peasy, have, had, have not had any issues with this truck whatsoever on road, off road or anything. I still have the factory Pirelli Scorpion tires. Everyone says these tires absolutely suck. They trash them all the time on Facebook. But I have 30,000 miles and uh, have a little bit of wear on the outside. But that's mainly due to uh, all the weight that's in the bed of this truck. And since I put the um, aftermarket uh, sway bars on there from Steeda, um, it's kind of like a little race truck. So I do take turns a bit faster than I used to um, just because it feels a lot sportier. But like I said, stock tires still on here. No issues with them. They work great. Really good in the sand, really good uh, just on the trails, gravel roads, and of course, commuting and uh, driving on the interstate. So I really don't have any complaints with the tires. A lot of people trash talk them, but I think that's a lot of people just don't know what they're talking about. Or maybe it's just uh, obviously using them in the snow, which I don't have snow down here in Florida. So that's not really going to be an issue for me. If you guys are just curious, all the weight that's in the bed of this truck, I have a huge drawer. I always keep some firewood on the side. I got a refrigerator, a power bank, plus all the plywood for the drawer system. It's pretty heavy. Got an eye camper up there, a couple hundred pounds, seven gallons of water, and it's just a lot of weight on the truck. It does squat a little bit, but like I said, 26 and a half miles to the gallon commuting around the town, around the city with all the weight of the truck as it is. You cannot beat that. So after 30,000 miles and one year of ownership, I absolutely love this truck. It gets me to all the places I need to go. It does tow 4,000 pounds. In an earlier video, I towed a uh, dual axle um, flatbed trailer. I had a side-by-side -side on there. I had my lawnmower. I was right at, if not just over the 4,000 mark uh, as far as the weight for the tow capacity. And this thing did phenomenal. It comes factory with trailer brakes. So pulling the trailer, starting, stopping was no issue. It does have a tow mode. And I felt like I could have pulled a lot more than that safely. Uh, down the interstate and everything and even with that trailer i think i got like 14 miles to the gallon which a lot of people's f-150s and full-size trucks don't even get that pulling nothing having an empty bed so um, just the fact that this is kind of like a do-it-all truck um, it's not the answer to everything but for the average person or more than the average person uh, this truck will get the job done it actually holds more weight in the bed the capacity than a toyota tacoma which is pretty impressive and the cab size uh, cubic inch wise is the same as like the Toyota Tacoma. So the cab is basically the same size. You feel the same size inside. Uh, the hood's a little shorter, the bed's smaller. So the truck overall is smaller, but um, when you're driving uh, the truck, you're behind the wheel, it actually feels uh, 
just like the uh, size of a Toyota Tacoma, which is what I had before this. So like I said, guys, I absolutely love this truck. No complaints. I uh, would buy it again. If I did buy this truck again, I probably would have bought the base model, bought the cheapest one. This is the Lariat, so it did cost a little more. Uh, I got the tow package. Um, I got the FX4 Lariat and the EcoBoost engine. So uh, that combination right there obviously was a little bit uh, pricey compared to just the base model, but I would have saved all my money, bought the cheapest version of this truck and just used it for whatever the hell I wanted to use it for. So uh, like I said, no complaints. If you guys have any questions about my uh, Ford Maverick right here, I'll be happy to uh, answer them. I have uh, worked with a few companies that have reached out to me in the past uh, when I first got it. Um, Steeder Racing being one of them, I have their blow off valve, I have their front uh, strut tower brace and I have their rear adjustable um, sway bar in the rear. Those things right there are really awesome. The handling that I got from those two things for the suspension components is just out of this world. It makes it feel like a little race truck and then I also had Extrusion Overland. They sent me this bed rack back here. I do have some videos on the bed rack if you guys are interested in modifying your Ford Maverick. But other than that, like I said, you got any questions? I absolutely love this truck and I foresee keeping it in the future. I do have a lift kit and some other things to install in this truck. I'm just waiting for the right time. Uh, just because, like I said, the tires don't need to be replaced right yet. So I don't feel like lifting it and buying new tires and uh, the whole nine yards and dumping a bunch of money into it when uh, it's just as efficient as it's ever going to be right now.